I'm creating a couple of videos to go along with the exercises in this book. It's uh, about finite element analysis. So these are the subjects that I'm going to discuss in this video. And uh, this is the video for the first chapter and I'm going to show how to make a good template in SOLIDWORKS simulation that you can use for doing finite element analysis. So I'm going to also create a coordinate system that's convenient to use and I'm going to set the units. So I'm going to switch to SOLIDWORKS over here. And here I've got a part already set up. And I've saved this part as a template so when, whenever I choose File New I can choose this template and in this template I've got the view set up in a way that the Z coordinate points to the top. You can see it here in my other default SOLIDWORKS coordinate system as well. So I did that by using the space bar and then with the arrows you can change the view and set it up just like you want to every time you hit the arrows it uh, shifts 15 degrees, it's adjustable with the SOLIDWORKS options so when I use the space bar I save the view as a view that I'm gonna reuse every time it's a view that I like for my images and I've got a coordinate system set up on the side so it comes into every picture that I create so that's uh, the coordinate system set up in the template and that's a way that's convenient to use I find that the Z coordinate points to the top in SOLIDWORKS and also in SOLIDWORKS simulation for the rest, whenever you start a, a simulation, I've got one run here already, uh, a lot of times you double click, for example, a stress results and you see the Vermeese stress here in Newton per square meter. Uh, if you don't want that, you can change it here in this simulation, but it will only affect this simulation and not the simulations that you're going to do from now on. So if you want to uh, affect the simulations that you're going to do from now on, you go to simulation and then options and then to default options and here in units you can set it to Newton per square millimeter and that will remain like that for every starting simulation from now on so if I press OK now it's not gonna change this one because this one has already been set up but it's gonna change every simulation that I'm gonna do from now on so I find it uh, it's a good way to change it here at once in the default options you can also generate plot results that you always want to generate so the, the plot results that you want to have coming back every time and these options then are set every time that you start simulation after the one that's already open on the screen so it's not affecting this one if you want to affect this one you can do it in the edit definition and change it here to newton per square millimeter for this uh, simulation so that was it that was just a, a brief introduction of the first chapter of the book that I've uh, written on finite element anal analysis. So thanks for watching.